Hello and God bless. Okay. So, um... So, yeah, so, 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 so yeah, like I said, I have regular videos, and this is going to be a regular video. The, the rant has probably already went up. So I'm recording this right after that, right after the rant I just did. But the rant probably already went up. So, yeah. But this video is mostly going to be about Dot .hack GU and how it is getting a physical release. I am super excited for it. I am... Glad I was proven wrong. I'm sorry. I'm I, I I won't say I'm sorry, but I will admit that I was wrong that it wasn't gonna get a physical release. I am I'll admit I was wrong it wasn't gonna get a physical release. I'm actually we are not people. I wanted a physical a lot of people thought in my last like video I made back two weeks ago that I that, that when I that when I talked about how there wasn't going to be a physical release, that I that I didn't want a physical release. No, I wanted a physical release. I wanted a physical release of Dying GU last recode. But the thing about it was that I was coming from it from the perspective of Bandai Namco of why they might not be releasing a physical release. I was understanding their thought pattern and not doing a physical release version. Because in that thought pattern, it would mean that they could control, control, control how much it's sold and get the full profit for the game. So pretty much, so pretty much, they control how much it's sold and get the full profit of the game and control the full on price of the game. Where scalpers could never oversell the game. Scalpers wouldn't even be able to oversell the game with them fully controlling the price over the PSN digital network. So, and Steam. So, they were pretty much fully controlled the price. I was That was the whole point I was getting at, that if Bandai Namco could fully, fully control the price through a digital only release, it would mean, it would mean they, it would mean scalpers wouldn't be able to be like, oh, well, we're gonna buy all these copies and then sell them for, sell them for way more than what they should be sold for so that people can't get them. So, yeah. So, so, yeah, that was my whole point with that last video, why digital release could help them out. Now, I personally, I wanted a physical release. Most because, just like you guys, I am a collector. Believe it or not, I can show you right now that I'm a collector. Look over there. I am a collector. Tuzzle the Syria Collector's Edition, a Fallout 4 Collector's Edition, and I have a, and I have a Xenon figurine, a Ichiko Bankai, an Ichiko Bankai sword, and I have a bunch of other collectibles over there that you probably can't see. So yes, so yes, I am, so yes. So yes, I am a collector. I am a collector. I collect stuff, just like you guys. So I wanted a physical release. And a lot of people were taking the ass. Oh, I didn't want a physical release. No, I wanted a physical release of Die Hack Last Recode. I was just coming, coming at it from the perspective of Bandai Namco and playing Devil at Devil's Advocate and coming at it from their thought pattern and, under, and trying to under giving you guys a full understanding of why they might not have done a physical release. But I'm I'm grateful that they are. I'm grateful that they are. I'll probably pick up three copies of the game, to tell you the truth, because I'll probably pick up one physical and two digital. Probably like, why two digital? Why would you pick up two digital? Why not just one digital and one physical? Well, the reason I'm picking up two digital is because I'm probably going to pick up a digital on PS4, a digital on PC, then the physical version that I'll probably never open uh, on um, from a uh, from from GameStop. So I'll pick up a physical, digital, and dig and digital. Two digitals and one physical. 
Because honestly, I want to see this game sell so well that it could honestly end up, um, we got to end up getting more Die Hack content in the future. So anything to make it sell, that's good for me because quite frankly, quite frankly, I want us to get more Die Hack content after freaking Die Hack GU last recode. I mean, I'm a huge Die Hack fan. People... People, I grew up with freaking Die Hack. I grew up with Die Hack. I grew up with it in the um, in the in the early 2000s and on. Ever since it's been out, I've grew up with the original four games, the first anime sign. I've owned a bunch of other Die Hack material. I'm a hardcore Die Hack fan. So to say I don't want. Die Hack to sell is an understatement, guys. And I wanted a physical version just as you guys, because I like to get my stuff signed by voice actors. Believe it or not, I go to a ton of anime games and I like to get my stuff signed by voice actors. So yeah. So yeah, see, so yeah, I am super excited that we are getting a physical release. I'm almost guaranteeing the physical release. It hasn't been street dated, it's given a placeholder date, so people do not buy into that whole December 31st, 2016 release date for the physical release. That is a placeholder date. They have not officially announced the actual release date as of yet. And which, what makes it even more shocked is that GameStop didn't date the physical release the same as the date as the digital release on their website which makes me think that GameStop doesn't even know the actual release date that that date for the digital release is a placeholder date so yeah we we don't know when the absolute release date is for Diag GU last recode I'm almost guaranteeing that it's probably gonna be in November or probably not November 30th I, I mean, if I'm guessing, let me look at all the Tuesdays in November, because games always come out on a Tuesday, unless it's a Nintendo game, they'll come out on a Friday. Let's go all the Tuesdays in, no in, in November. There's the second. There's the, all, I mean, all the Tuesdays in November. There's the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th. So literally, Literally, I'm almost guaranteeing that we'll probably get a um, physical. Cause yeah, cause yeah, that's a Thursday, and usually only people that release games on Thursday are Nintendo slash Friday. So yeah, that's probably a placeholder date. So I'm almost guaranteeing that Die G Last Recode. If I had to guess, or will probably come out either on the 13th. Or the uh, or the twentieth, the thirteenth or the twentieth is probably when we'll get it. Because right now, those are all placeholder dates. There is no, there has been no actual word from Bandai Namco on when the actual release date is. And I'm almost guaranteeing it's probably going to be. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be uh, November twentieth, right before Black Friday. If they release it right before Black Friday, then that means Black Friday, they people can buy it. Say a bunch of kids want the Diag G Last Recode game for Christmas. They can all buy it on Black Friday and it would sell well. And a lot of game companies have done that before where they release a game right before Black Friday. They release it like the Tuesday before the Tuesday before or the Tuesday before that. Or they'll release it that following Tuesday after Black Friday. So it, it could be it could be it could come out either one of those Tuesdays. So yeah. So yeah, so yeah. But yeah, honestly people, I just want to clear it up. I do want a physical release of Dyke G last Rico, don't get me wrong. I, I I never said I didn't want a physical release. I want a physical release and I will be buying a physical release. In fact, I already reserved my physical release on Amazon. 
I, I just want I just wanted it I just understood why they would do a digital only because it will mean they could control the profit and get the full profit of it they wouldn't have to well it's essentially cut out the middleman and cut out when people buy it used them not getting the money it will pretty much let them always get the full profit of the game which why I'm okay with companies doing digital only games because it, in the end we're in the end, that, that's more giving them money to make more of the game than buying a physical release. Because the physical release, you're only giving them a portion of our money. With a digital release, we're giving them the full portion of our money, and we're pretty much showing them that, showing it, showing support that we really want this game. So yeah, so yeah, people, that's just been my whole discussion on the whole Doug Gu, where I'm coming, where I was coming from my last video, and where I, where I want the uh, physical release. I do want the physical release. So yeah, until the next dot hack GU video, and until the next uh, regular Japanese video game video, whether to do with Nintendo or the um, or any other Japanese video games. God bless. Take care, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.